Inside the Chelsea theaters, we take a look at the tail of the tape for this one. Ozzy Dugulugov, 26.58, 155.4. There you see his reach taking on Nick Karen Webb, 25 years of age. 5'10 and a 70.5 inch reach. This one in the lightweight division as we get set for action scheduled for three. All right. Let's see what Nick Heron Webb can do. If he can pull him into his web and go for a submission. He prefers the jokes, but the uh, ooh, Luka Lubkov, very yeah. strong opponent, very hard. Ozzy has been a very difficult matchup for almost everyone in the World Series of Fighting. He trains with Henzo Gracie, the team out of Hackensack, New Jersey. He's born in Russia, trained in New Jersey, and he is very proud. Oh, oh man, look at that. Very proud of where he came from, his background. But here he is now making his home in the States. And Nick Heron Webb now has got to figure out how to deal with the speed and the power that Ozzy brings to this fight. That's the thing. He needs to wait for big shots, and hopefully he can secure a takedown and work from there. But uh, like you said already, training yeah. with Henzo Gracie, I mean, <laughs> he knows what to do on the ground as well. Look at this. He's got his right foot trapped in between his knees. as Ozzy, and he folds him over. Wow. It's amazing. In the lightweight division, you don't expect the starts like this, and Ozzy is always that guy that pushes the pace constantly. That was really nice. Nick Karen tried to do the at first, and then he goes now crank, cranking away. Ozzy continuing to push the pressure as there's blood now coming from the eyebrow of Nick Karen Webb. Nick 17 and 5, 2K is 14 submissions, and of those submissions, six coming by way of rear naked choke. So a very crafty fighter with Matt Stout in his corner out of Great Land Martial Arts. But he's bleeding. It's like it's Nick Heron Webb. It's got the blood coming off his left side of his face. But this is only his third fight outside of his home in Alaska, so he spends a lot of time up there in the great state of Alaska, not venturing out much. But here he is finding himself in a lot of trouble early on here in Las Vegas with Ozzy Dugulugov. Yeah, they need to do something big here. Otherwise, our referee will put him back on the feet, I think. Mark Smith in charge of the action here. Alongside Boss Root and Chael Senna and Joey Varner, Todd Harris, glad to have you with us on a Friday night. Happy holidays, folks. And Ozzy right now doing some serious work on Nick Heron Webb. And Mark Smith once again calling for the action to pick up. And there you see the damage done to that eyebrow of, of Nick Heron Webb. Nice shot there. In between, that's when he needs to throw more. Talking about Dugulubgov. And this is a this is a difficult thing for a lot of fighters when they fight Ozzy because he is willing to go here. He is willing to get on the ground and just grind this thing out. Uh, you know, just ground and pound is kind of his thing because he keeps the pressure up so much, never lets space get between him, so you can't really get effective striking. That's it. That's exactly what you said. He keeps his chest on the chest of his opponent. This is very hard to go for submissions that way. It's miserable. It's yeah. like some guy sitting on a cross-country flight next to you. And you just, he's driving you crazy, and you can't get rid of him. This is Ozzy. That's Ozzy. You just can't get rid of him. I will tell him that you call him annoying. <laughs> Trained well by Henzo Gracie and Ron Yas in his corner. Last two fights. Third round KO of Keon Caldwell at WSO 13. And of course, April 2015 at WSO 20, getting the victory over Lucas Montoya. This is just the definition of Nice reversal out. there. Look well, at this. Nick Heron doing forever. a great job here wow. trying to get off his back. Uh, the fence was there, so he could complete the reversal. But it was nice. Let me ask you this, boss. In the eyes of the judges, is Ozzy doing enough here as he's grinding out, making it uncomfortable? Is he scoring enough points here? Or is this just kind of a stalemate? Well, yeah. It's, it's kind of a stalemate. He did a few shots. I expect the referee to put him back on the feet because nothing really happens. The referee already won twice. Your little shot, they shouldn't count at all. Only big ones. Stop. Under a minute to go, go. that's See? enough. Mark Smith's going to stand him up. And before he does that, he's going to send Ozzy into his corner. And they're going to have the doctor come in. Now, the league doctor tonight is David Watson. Spoke with him prior to the start of the match. He is a 25-year veteran of emergency medicine. He's going to come in and take a look at that eye. Dr. Watson gives it the thumbs up. Time in. Fight. 
There we go. So 45 seconds to go. Nick Karen Webb has got a taste of the ground game that Ozzy brings. Looks like he wants to keep this thing up last time. And a spinning back kick connects yet again. Well, both of them were throwing something. Wow, that uppercut connects. Oh, Ozzy just keeps coming every different body. level. Nick Heron's got a very tough chin. That back kick to the body is really hard, too. Ozzy changing up his stances. Look at the thickness of the legs of Ozzy. Final 10 seconds here. He grabs the single and they separate. We will go to a second round when we return to the Chelsea Theater live here on NBCSN. Here's the action that took place. Ozzy going with the throwdown, and this is when the cut takes place uh, on the left brow of Nick Heron Webb. That made sense. So round two underway here. I got to give you credit, boss. Uh, Nick Heron Webb, you, you told me this kid is tough. I mean, he has taken some serious body shots. Ozzy has thrown a little bit of everything at him, the spinning back fists, the kicks. The ground game has been there, and uh, Nick Heron Webb came out looking fresh to start round two. He, he, he is a tough guy, and we saw he's got great reversals because if the fence wouldn't have been there, he yep. would have reversed the Gulub Gov, and he would have been on top. And, and we, you know, since he's a submission specialist, that would be his bread and butter, of course. Yep. Nick Heron Webb, a cast member of the Ultimate Fighter 16 four fight win streak as he comes in here tonight at WSOF 26. Oof. Big shots there. Gulub Gov. Ozzy coming forward again. Combinations. Oh. Nick Heron Webb comes off the cage, and look at this. Wow. Finds himself in a dominant position. Really, for the first time tonight, Ozzy able to scramble back up to his feet and just reverses and puts Heron wow. Webb against the cage. He's got a lot of power. My goodness. <laughs> Great reflexes from both fighters. That was a nice little run there. That hip, turn that hip, stretch your leg, stretch your leg. Looking for a guillotine now. No, it's not a, okay. Get that hook okay. in there, I need you to get that cut. Stay on that, stay on that, keep his head. It's a seldom occurrence. <laughs> it's usually spot on. Ask, yeah, ask my wife. <laughs> so Nick here at Webb now, it's amazing how quickly things change. He had a dominant position, then he was up against the cage. Now he finds himself on the back against the cage and Ozzy, and this is one thing that I think the, the official Mark Smith is going to look at. If Ozzy's not doing anything, he's not working, he's going to stand him back up. Yeah, he has to. But um, like you said, you know, it's you don't want to give a, a submission specialist like uh, Nick right space, and that's what he's doing against his chest on chest. Don't give him any space. The problem from that is that you cannot, if you don't have space, you can't strike. Right. You know, your strikes are way too short. They don't do any damage. They shouldn't even count. You heard Tony coming in. You got to work if you're on top. Right now, it's Nick here and Webb doing more than working. Ozzy trying to see what he can do, but I think you're right, boss. He doesn't want to posture up and put an arm out there and possibly get it caught or a leg. Ozzy, let's go. Work on top. Stand up. Stand up. I like it. Keep the pace going as we go under two minutes. Still to come, our main event of the night. Lance Palmer putting his featherweight belt on the line against Alexandre Almeida of Brazil. Wow. Ozzy lines that thing up and he Big telegraphs shots. it. Nice inside. Nice takedown. Let's see. Oh. I thought he had a half butterfly in. I thought he was going to try to go for a reversal, but then he gave that up. Oh, he's got it on the other side. See what he can do with it now. Another stalemate here as Ozzy takes the top position, but when he's here, boss, he's just closing that distance down, really not doing a lot of damage. Yes. No, you're absolutely right. 
I think in a position, in a dominant position like this, you should throw dominant yeah. strikes or, or and he's go just, for he's something. Just locking up the body of Nick Karen Webb, making sure that he doesn't get an arm or a leg caught. And you can see Nick Karen Webb now fishing for something. Yeah, Molly's doing just the mission control there. He's holding the, the upper body down. So there's nothing that uh, his opponent can do, but it's pretty much also not a lot that you can do. You can try to go for the Gogo Plata, though. If you can put that instep underneath the jaw. He's that flexible. <laughs> well, you know, he's a, he's a really a specialist, yeah. a grappling specialist. He should be. But uh, I have the feeling that Dugalukov knows this. Well, he's trying it. See? He's trying to go for it. Otherwise, no more Plata. It's one of the two. He's going to put his right elbow. He's going to push that head up to the side. He's going to try to put that instep underneath the jaw. Now he gives it. Only one I saw tap from that was Gomi against the uh, Nick Diaz. So it looks like we're going to go to third and final round in this one in the lightweight division. Ozzy Dugulugov and Nick Heron Webb will have that for you live when we return to Las Vegas. <laughs> Taking in the fights here on World Series of Fighting 26 alongside Boss Root and Chael Sonnen and Joey Varner. I'm Todd Harris. Glad to have you with us. Happy holidays as we close out 2015 as we check in with Joey Varner in the blue corner. All right, Todd, and there is a sense of urgency coming from the blue corner. They told him that he's fighting his pace, he's fighting his distance, and that he's lost both rounds. If he wants to get the victory, he has to do something big and come away with the finish in this last round. Joey, you're in the corner of Nick Heron Webb. Did you find it odd that he did not sit at all during that break? He stood standing the entire time, or is he just that confident in his, his conditioning? You know, some fighters have a tendency to, during training camp, their coaches make them stand up the whole time, as sometimes it plays a psychological effect on their opponent when the opponent's resting on a stool they look over they see their opponent fresh standing on his feet it could affect them psychologically all right we'll see if it plays out Nick Karen Webb looks to be incredibly fit for this fight does not seem to have a problem with fitness and there it is again as Ozzy so explosive on that initial strike yeah the big long Full right up well we saw Morai is actually stop, connecting stop. Uh, well setting that big right up and then connecting with the left hook to the head the fight before this one. Inadvertent poke to the eye from Nick Heron Webb onto Ozzy Dugulagoff, and they'll bring the cage side doctor here. We've got three of them with lead Dr. David Watson, of course, James Game, and then Brad Lee. It's impressive. Nick Heron Webb, he has been very strong here is one more time he comes back with right there yeah it was just a push off all right Tom in fight all right Sorry. now let's see what uh, Webb can do he needs to get him in his wow. oh look at that backing oh Nick Aaron Webb says bring it on Alaska tough oh. careful what you wish for not good yeah, he needs to start working now. But, you know, it's again, it's, it's hard against somebody who knows yep. to, how to shut you down. Well, it's happened two times before, so Nick Karen Webb just has to weather this initial takedown from Ozzy Gulovgoff, and more than likely our referee, Mark Smith, is going to stand him back up. Ozzy not known for doing a lot of work when he gets in this dominant position. And not striking, boss. Doesn't look like he's fishing for a submission. Not doing or trying anything. to even get to the mount. He's just... Yep. Yeah, but he has that uh, yep. reversal fresh in his head in the round number one, so he thinks, well, if I give this guy a little bit too much space, right. you know, if the fans wouldn't have been there, he gets a reversal. Now, I'm not saying that he can keep that position then, but he would have completed. So he knows he cannot make any mistakes. Raise one more time. Yep. So looking that. at it, or just at least put it in Ozzy's mind that it's in there. As we have clipped the halfway point of this round, the third and final round here in the lightweight division. And boss, if you had to go to your free scoring app on your phone, which I know you love, who are you giving this fight to so far? Yeah, to uh, to Luka, of course. Yeah, because of the takedowns, and the control, and the hard strikes on his uh, on the feet. You know, a few times he landed really hard with those back kicks to the body. And he's just smothering yeah. right now. Webb. Yeah. Good. Call again from the referee. 
Mark Smith stands him up. It's all about action in the World Series of fighting. So rather than let them grind this out for two more minutes, stands him back up. And this is where Nick Heron Webb has got to make something happen. Another takedown and easily for Ozzy Dubulagov. Yeah, and that's going to secure his victory. Unless Ozzy makes a mistake here, boss, at close quarters and leaves again. an arm or a leg out there, I think he's going to, as you said, put this one away. That would be something. That would be a great comeback. You know what? I'm going to say it wouldn't happen. We've seen almost everything in mm -hmm. 26 fights, 26 cards, I should say, of the World Series of Fighting as we close out a very exciting 2015 with great things on the horizon in 2016 with one minute to go in this fight, and Ozzy just grinding this one out. Nick Karen Webb only can hope for another stand-up and a possibility of landing a big shot or getting him close enough where he can get some kind of jiu-jitsu and a submission attempt. It's going to be hard, but we saw crazier things yes, we have before. Yeah. He's going for the arm. He's going for the right arm. Yeah. He's going to He's got his hands locked. He's going to go. He's got his left arm underneath, so it's very hard to. You're not going to break that grip. He can do it from a side mount, you know, if he's on the side, but it's not. You see, he's got his hands Final locked Final 10 in. seconds. There's nothing there. He needs to push and pull. That's a hard, it's hard from this position. We will have the official decision when we return to the Chelsea Theater. Coming after three rounds of professional fighting, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this fight 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Ozzy Tugaluka. So Ozzy gets the victory. His record now eight and two. Nick Heron Webb falls to 17 and six.